day to coincide with Black Maternal Health Week. There's a Chicago-based documentary focused on racial health disparities and the role of the U.S. U.S. healthcare system. The fight for black lives explores systemic racism in healthcare and how that contributes to higher mortality rates for black mothers and infants. Here's a bit of the trailer. Imagine a fully loaded jumbo jet with 220 passengers and crew taking off and crashing today. That's exactly what is occurring when we say there are racial disparities in health in the United States. Over 200 black people dying prematurely every single day. I had to make sure that I entered into that space with survival on my mind. Disproportionate access to goods and resources can quickly turn into poor health and death. But that happens every day, slowly and quietly. When you have these experiences as a young woman and you're thinking, what am I gonna see that won't hurt me? Yeah, right. The history of black women and GYN is so dark, it is. so brutal. Mm -hmm. And joining us now is University of Chicago professor Ms. Sherry Keels, who produced and directed this documentary. I know maternal health rates are a real big concern in the state and in this country. So, Professor, tell us a bit more about what this documentary is about and what it explores specifically. Right. Again, thank you for um, having me on your show and being able to talk about this. So the impetus behind making this documentary um, came about when during the pandemic, as we were talking about the large racial health disparities that we were seeing and the gaps in the mortality rate, some of that conversation appeared to be, a lot of the narrative appeared to be that there's something about this moment in time, there's something about the pandemic that is creating these disparities. And what I'm able to do in this documentary is really take us back through to the decisions that were made about our healthcare system in the um, post-emancipation period when um, there was an opportunity to create kind of um, a really strong healthcare system for people who were um, newly um, uh, previously enslaved individuals. But instead, it was a system that we have today, which is very tiered. And it's a system that is associated with large inequities in access to care and access to the things that make us help healthy, keep us healthy. And so with these maternal mortality disparities, which grew during the pandemic and are now significantly higher, in the documentary, I take us back to the post-reconstruction period all the way through to today to see how these things are consistent and to see how it shows up in the lives, five lives of women who are pregnant during the first year of the pandemic and their experiences. And lots of faculty members, including University of Chicago professors that help us to understand the context. Like Monica, um, um, who showed up just now saying it happens slowly and quietly mm -hmm. every single day. Mm -hmm. I mean, the maternal health uh, or mortality rate, rather, was always a concern, though, right? It was the pandemic certainly caught your attention and things rapidly changed. But as you were talking about, this is a, an issue that's gone on now for decades and decades yes. in this country. Yes, We've known the numbers. The numbers aren't new. We've known the numbers, but the numbers hasn't spurred the kind of action and the kind of change needed so which is why the numbers continue we the numbers um for some reason we talk about it as if mothers are doing something wrong in the way that they are caring for themselves and in the way that they are caring for their infants uh, but what i wanted to do is turn the spotlight on our system it's on the factors that make it such that black women are significantly more likely to work right up until pregnancy and delivery mm -hmm. and then be right back in the workforce right after delivery. Because as one of my um, experts say, they're often the sole or highest earning member in their family. And because their health insurance is very tied to having that job, they might not be able to rest if they're having complications and they are right back into the workforce and don't have that time to care and do all of the healing after delivery. How did you find so the women? So that is one example of a system. Right. How did you find right, the system, the overall system, not just the healthcare system? How did you find the women? And then uh, quickly, how did you find the women for the documentary? And then I want to follow up with, I, with what I think is the most important question. 
Yeah. So it was um, interviewing all these experts and one of them, um, Lori, Dr. Lori Nisar Jefferson in um, UMass Boston, mm -hmm. runs a program that empowers women to be able to speak to their local legislature about their experiences. And so it was through her that she connected me with women in Boston. And so we got these women together in a farmhouse outside of Boston so that they could talk to each other and allow us to film them talking with each other in order to share their stories. I got you. I, I want to ask you one quick question. I'm sorry we're out of time, so I want you to keep yes. the answer very succinct. But um, one powerful quote in the doc is, pregnancy is not a disease. So if you're having high maternal mortality, there's a problem with your country or your health care system or both. So with that, and again, I'm sorry to ask you to, to give me a quick answer here. The, uh, what do you hope uh, the documentary will inspire in terms of change? Right. So there is a big change that has been asked about for a long time. It's called the Momnibus. Um, mm -hmm. That has been going through Congress. Our own Representative Lauren Underwood um, has authored that and pushing that. And so we know what to do. Um, we just need Congress to act. So that is one opportunity. Wonderful. Well, I appreciate that. And I know uh, Congresswoman Robin Kelly has some proposed legislation out there as well. So we will keep tabs on that. Uh, congratulations on the documentary. I think it's a really important subject. And we really appreciate you being with us this morning. Thank you. Professor Masheri Keels, again, uh, the documentary um, is uh, now part of uh, maternal Health Week, Black Maternal Health Week, and showing locally. There's the screening for the Fight for Black Lives happening at the University of Chicago on April 24th. It's at 4.30. Head to blacklivesdocumentary.com to reserve a spot.